All right. Uh, before we before we get going here, I wanted to talk uh, briefly about uh, what where we're heading. All right. So we're in chapter six and seven. What we're going to do is we're going to talk about four different cases in creating optimal portfolios. And what I mean by optimal portfolios, I'm uh, we're going to talk about asset allocation. We're going to change the weights uh, of the assets in the portfolio to what we call optimize them. All right, so we've talked about the efficient frontier, uh, the Markowitz efficient frontier. An optimal portfolio is that portfolio that gets into the uh, into the most northwest quadrant. All right, and so so what we're going to do, we're going to go through four cases. The first case will be a portfolio made up of two assets, a risky asset and a risk-free asset. In practice, you can think of this as being a, a portfolio made up of, say, your index fund and uh, uh, government T-bills. Say you want to buy some, some government bonds. I don't know, because uh, uh, maybe there's a pandemic causing a huge loss in the stock market, something like that. Uh, so that's the first case. The second case would be two, investing in two risky assets that have perfect negative correlation. Uh, that's a less common uh, a less common allocation in practice. However, we'll, we'll talk about that. Uh, it will give us some inclination about optimal portfolios. The third case is going to be two risky assets that don't have perfect negative correlation. This is going to be more common. You can think of this as uh, someone that is owning an investment fund, uh, maybe an index fund, and wants to, uh, uh, I don't know, add to their index fund a particular stock or another risky index, uh, another risky fund, right? So putting two funds together. Uh, we're going to derive how much weight should go in each of those risky assets. And the fourth case is probably the most important case. This is the case where we'll analyze the optimal portfolios made up of multiple risky assets. Okay, So you can think of, of uh, uh, asset allocation here on the screen. Uh, how much should you put in um, into an index fund that tracks U.S. securities? How much uh, should you put in international equities? How much should you hold in, in U.S. fixed income or in emerging markets fixed income? Should you put any money in commodities? So we'll we'll do some analysis here. Uh, in the example that I use in this section, we're going to uh, form an optimal portfolio made up of eight individual stocks. But you can think of this as being funds, right? And and, and coming up with a complete asset allocation that's optimal in the Markowitz context.